mountain brigade in manipur a mountain division in upper assam and arunachal pradesh and the foreign training team in bhutan as commandant indian military training team he has also been a senior commander in the united nations mission in sudan during the civil war in undivided sudan during his service the general officer has held many staff and instructional appointments he has served at the infantry school mao was director in perspective planning directorate of the army headquarters and brigadier general staff of the indian military academy dehradun the general officer has been awarded the ati vishist seva medal the yuddh seva medal and the chief of army staffs commendation he also received three times the general officer commanding in chief commendation from northern command western command and the training commands and also the force commander's commendation from the united nations mission in sudan during his tenure as commandant indian military training team the general officer assisted and supervised the un mission deployment for first ever contingent of royal bhutan army and prepared the road map for implement computing and cyber security module of national service program in bhutan for his dedication and selfless efforts the general officer received letter of appreciation from his majesty the king of bhutan chief operations officer royal bhutan army and the ambassador of india to bhutan the officer is academically inclined and holds two masters degree in defense studies and business administration he has also been a senior research fellow at india's oldest think tank the united service institution of india where he published the highly acclaimed book china's strategic behavior If you now look to your left you will see a buggy drawn by horses in which the commandant as per the tradition is arriving Through learning and developing different skill sets in the academy to come across the last time please come from launch settings to surviving in the wilderness on their own when they go for their training camps developing the confidence uh, and ability uh, to stay a large fight without it's under progress sleep rest lugging the loads to long distances to helping others and moving as a team to developing the spirit of brotherhood this academy has taught them all Today these cadets will proudly experience minus 30 minutes and counting
Hello everyone. Hello everyone. A warm welcome to each and every one of you on this bright sunny day which marks a golden milestone in the annals of Indian space journey. It's a matter of great pride to note that the first ever Indian private rocket has come to the stage of its maiden flight today. Thanks to the relentless efforts of the Indian space community aided by the recent reforms in space sector. Today's mission reflects the power of synergy between the government and the private sector facilitated by the in space it is poised to boost the confidence of more such startups in venturing towards space journeys for which the sky is the limit the presence of dr jitendra singh minister of state in the pmo science and technology space and atomic energy adds to the enthusiastic air that fills the satish dhawan space center here at sri harikota today i am jay singh from dd news chennai and i am joined by mr abhay kumar from sky root aerospace and ms mathuri from isro it was the launch of india's first indigenous sounding rocket rohini 75 on november 20 1967 that marked a new beginning for the indian space industry there has been no looking back for the indian space sector since then with the constitution of the indian Indian Space Research Organization ISRO on August 15 1969 the Indian space program gained momentum India soon entered the global ranks with the launch of India's first satellite Aryabhatta on April 19 1975 in this journey of more than 5 decades enriched with multiple milestones including the epoch making chandrayaan and mangalyaan missions the indian space sector capabilities have grown manifold all thanks to the scientists and leadership team of isro till date isro has made immense contribution to the success of the indian space sector and placed india among the top few space faring nations in the world fast forward to 2019 we saw a new turning point in the journey of india's space sector when the union government decided to set up the new space india limited ensl under department of space dos to commercialize the research and development work of isro it was followed by a visionary and path breaking decision in june 2020 when the central government opened up the space sector to enable the participation of indian private sector in the entire gamut of space activities the decision was taken to enable private firms in building their own rockets satellites related ground equipment etc so that it contributes to the holistic development of india's space sector following the vision of honorable prime minister sri narendra modi to enable seamless participation from private players in india's space sector the indian national space promotion and authorization center in space was constituted in june 2020 it was formulated as a single window independent nodal agency which functions as an autonomous agency in the department of space of government of india to boost private space sector economy in india it was a very significant step taken by government of india to tap the immense potential of indian space sector and increase india's share in the global space economy to give you some context Global space sector is witnessing rapid growth. A recent report projects the global space economy to be worth dollar 469 billion which grew by 9% from 2020 onwards. It means there is a lot of scope for India to tap this vast market. Hence the recent space sector reforms were brought in to enhance India's share in global space market. majorly through private sector participation after the announcement of in space its headquarters was set up in bhopal and was inaugurated on 10th june 2022 by honorable prime minister sri narendra yes, modi he termed the launch of in space uh, as a watch ready, this space moment yeah. uh, for the indian space industry as it would be a precursor to many developments and opportunities in the indian space sector he gave the slogan in space is for space in space is for pace in space is for is and emphasized on how in space isro ensl together 
along with active participation from the private sector who take indian space sector beyond the limits of uh, event sky. number 35 confirmed the introduction of in space as an autonomous body added a new dimension to the government's vision of bridging the gap among the government and private entities working in the space sector since its Block inception in space in coordination with isro uh, has been playing a pivotal role in boosting the private sector space economy in india with its role as a promoter enabler authorizer uh, and supervisor in space is acting as the cornerstone of space reforms in the country it has been working closely with the industry especially the young startups sitting completed for the launch with isro and its centers ensil and with various departments of the government like department of space ministry of information and broadcasting department of telecom and department of promotion of industry and internal trade to facilitate and authorize the space non governmental entities ngees to undertake space activities in the country the space sector reforms have opened a whole new world of opportunities for the industry there is a revolutionary change that can be seen in the private space industry we can clearly see an increasing interest from the private players in the sector in last one year there has been a massive boom of startups in the space tech sector number of space startups have gone up as per the economic survey of india till 2021 there were more than 100 space startups registered which is a jump of close to 500% in the last 5 years the numbers are set to increase further with reforms by the central government and increase in investment traditional vendors to isro and msmes are diversifying by going up the value chain lnd and bharat electronics limited through a consortium have come forward to take a giant step to manufacture the pslv rocket investment in space sector is increasing recently skyroot aerospace received the highest ever funding in the form of venture capital of 51 million us dollars followed by agnikul cosmos which received a funding close to 20 million us dollars in november 2022 this depicts the rising confidence amongst the investors in the vibrant indian space sector as an expected outcome of this deregulation brought in by the space reforms in addition isro is going all out to help ngees to help give access to its ecosystem and its expertise in fact next big milestone is going to be the launch of agniborn sorted suborbital rocket by agnikul cosmos an aerospace startup incubated at iit madras in space team is working with agnikul to enable the launch of their suborbital flight in coming months in space along with ensil is playing an important enabling role in this coming age of the indian space sector the growing number of applications received by in space from space ngees is a testimony to the growing momentum in the private space sector till date in space has received more than 150 proposals from startups msmes and industries online enabled by in space digital platform for new space ventures and activities in space has signed 16 memoranda of understanding and issued five authorizations to space non governmental entities for undertaking space activities in the country it is continued efforts to scale newer horizons in india's space domain on 16 november 2022 in space authorized the first ever private sector launch of a launch vehicle by skyroot aerospace a hyderabad based space startup and today is going to be a memorable day in the history of indian space sector when the first ever launch of a privately designed and built rocket from india will take place from isro space port satish dhawan space center at sri harikota andhra pradesh namaskar very good morning and welcome to the live coverage of india's first private sector rocket launch from the satish dhawan space center the space port of india we are around 20 minutes away from the launch 
and uh, I'm Abhay Kumar from Skyroot Aerospace, live together with my fellow commentators. And in a few moments, we'll be executing India's first private launch from this very launch complex, which has seen hundreds of ISRO launches over the last 50 years. The entire Skyroot team is excited to bring to you the first of many such endeavors. On screen, the rocket already for the launch undergoing final preparations. And uh, we are launching today. And let me introduce to you our, the Vikram S rocket, named after the famed scientist and the founder of Indian space program, Dr. Sarbai. Please repeat On the value. screens, a view from MCC, Azimut, where the one, esteemed two, guests zero, point, and five, participants elevation, now back to the one. view from okay, the launch done. pad, where last minute preparations are going on. And we are all very close to the launch. On your screens now, the VVIPs as well. Namaste, viewers. I am Madhuri, Deputy Manager, Valve, Isri Shar, welcoming you okay. with my fellow commentators from the Mission Control Center for this momentous launch. Blockers 1 to COT. You have just now watched In the launch the vehicle uh, current, on uh, the launch the pad and few visuals from the Mission Control Center where the team from Skyroot Aerospace are all eager to witness their first ever launch of Vikram S. Let me introduce Skyroot Aerospace to our viewers. Skyroot Aerospace is a two-time national award-winning space startup founded by Pawan Kumar Chandana and Nagabharat Dhaka. This largest privately funded space startup in oh, India yeah. has uh, reached Madam launch that that just within four years of confirm? its incorporation uh, with more than uh, 200 uh, employees uh, with an average age of less than 30 okay, years. Is noted. This is the team of uh, Skyroot Aerospace. Go ahead. You see the Sky Aerospace team at their facility at Hyderabad. Um, the dedication with which they have worked for. You can see on your screen photo of Honorable Prime Minister. Okay. Prime Minister Sri Narendra Modi along with the two co-founders taken in front of their rocket stages. This was taken when Honorable Prime Minister met them during the inauguration of InSpace headquarters. So what is special about Why today's launch? Yes, Madhuri, today is a very special day. A new aramb ka praram ho raha hai, Skyroot dwara. And let me tell you that this is a very special day for Skyroot Aerospace, where the company is launching its maiden rocket under the name Praramb, means the beginning, signifying a new era of the private sector in India. Uh, and the first mission of Skyroot, the Praram mission was unveiled at ISO headquarters, uh, Bangalore, after the technical clearance from the space regulator in space. Praram mission aims to launch Vikram S, a suborbital rocket from the launching facility at Sherikota. Some of the pre-integration activities are on your screen. The Vikram S is a single stage solid fuel suborbital rocket, which takes about two years to develop. Uh, and uh, has been built in India using advanced technologies. One of the key technology is the vehicle structure is built from carbon fiber, which is four times lighter than steel, making it one of the India's few space vehicles to do so. The other key technology is the use of 3D printing, which was used to build the four thrusters, which uh, offer the spin stabilization to this aerodynamically stable rocket. View from uh, the VIP galleries, on MCC, Madhuri, I would like to ask you that why don't you tell us something more about Vikram rocket? Uh, yes, sir. As we are just 15 Noted. minutes, uh, Noted. about Noted. Uh, 20 Noted. seconds away from the launch, it's appropriate to let the viewers know more about Noted. the Vikram uh, launch. The overall dimension Sharman of the rocket is 6 meters in height and around 380 okay. mm in diameter okay. with an overall lift of mass of 545 kg. Uh, 
the vehicle is powered by a single stage solid propulsion system called kalam 80 which has a burn time of 23 seconds and a peak thrust of 7 tons Vikram S has a capacity to lift off and climb to an altitude of over 80 kilometers which is commonly defined as the beginning of space. However, this first mission will be a success if the vehicle crosses 50 kilometers in altitude. As a comparison to our viewers, a normal passenger flight flies at an altitude of nearly 10 kilometers. Vehicle is powered off and health of the vehicle is observed to be nominal. Please stand by for a video on um, uh, from the co-founders of Skyroot Aerospace the CEO, Mr. Pawan, and the CEO, Mr. Bharat. Please stand by for the video. This mission, we have flight proven several critical technologies that go into our Vikram series of space launch vehicles, such as avionics, propulsion systems, carbon composite structures, and thermal protection systems. This milestone would not have been possible without the great support we received from ISRO and in space who worked with us hand in hand throughout our journey. This is such a landmark event for the country. We thank the Prime Minister of India for creating space reforms which enabled us to achieve this milestone. This Vikram rocket can reach hypersonic speeds that is five times the speed of sound within just 25 seconds and reach space within just 150 seconds. This Vikram rocket is one of the world's first few rockets built with all carbon fiber structure and it has four 3D printed engines for creating roll stability for the rocket. We at Skyroot have been waiting for this moment for long and team Skyroot has been working several months towards this great milestone. Welcome back to the live coverage on your screens now. The Skyroot rocket Vikram S all set to launch. You can see final activities, last minute activities going on and soon the launch pad will be cleared. Now you have the view from MCC, where we are having our VIP guests. Uh, Sri Pawan Goenka, Chairman in Space, on your screens, very intently discussing final aspects of the uh, pre-launch preparations. And uh, with uh, now on your screens, the mission profile which this rocket is going to follow. After liftoff uh, from the sound rocket complex at Shehrikota using the standard launcher here. Uh, we will lift off. The rocket will fly, move on the rocket rails, the launcher rails for around 0.73 seconds. And around 100 milliseconds after that, that is around 0.8 seconds, the spin rockets will be fired to stabilize the rocket. Then the aerodynamics will kick in and the fin cans will maintain the spin stabilization. The rocket is all through aerodynamically stable, and that is how the control is offered. Around 15 seconds, we will experience the maximum Q and the maximum loads on the vehicle. And uh, we will reach an altitude of more than 80 kilometers. And finally, and splash down and see completed. some 134 kilometers away from Shehrikota coast. So uh, this is the summary of our profile. Oh, yes. And you can see the mission is well planned. and we are all waiting for this mission to successfully happen in around 11 minutes, 18 seconds from now, when the liftoff will take place. We will That's continue our uh, mission speech like this. And, uh, and uh, uh, Madhuri, why don't you uh, take us further in terms of uh, what is the weather climate and what are the further flight profiles? Yes, sir. It's a bright sunny morning here in Sriharikota with the benign winds. The ground wind speed is likely uh, between 7 to 8 meters per second. However, the vehicle is capable to thrive in much higher winds of up to 25 meters per second. Uh, the nominal liftoff of Vikram S from Sriharikota is at 11 hours 30 minutes on uh, 18th of November 2022. The range and tracking operations for Vikram S are being undertaken by SDSC Shar range operations at ISRO. Telemetry data will be captured by ISRO Telemetry Tracking and Command Network Station of ISRO and relayed to the control center. 
the seamless joint efforts of various isro Mother centers including the sdsc shark is track vssc sky route team and in space have enabled the sky route vikram s rocket to be launched ready in a short period of time in space technical mission readiness review committee members from isro centers in space ex officio experts from isro rigorously reviewed launch vehicle and integration preparation and gave guidance to enable final launch clearance the maiden rocket launch for sky route aerospace is perhaps the most important milestone for the indian private space sector since the space reforms announced by government of india though one small step it is a giant leap to demonstrate the ability of the indian space private sector this will pave the way for many such private sector launches the path breaking launch of the first indigenous sounding rocket rohini 75 that took place in november 20 1967 laid the foundation of the indian space program and changed the trajectory of the indian space sector likewise mission prarambh which is the first indian private sector launch marks the beginning of a new dawn and which will propel the indian space sector into next orbit So we are about eight and a half minutes away from the launch. Uh, why don't you, in the meantime, tell the viewers uh, what is the objective of today's mission and whether Vikram S is carrying with it any payload? Thank you, Madhuri. Uh, view from the uh, MCC. We continue to monitor the launch very closely. And as you have asked, uh, what is the objective of today's mission and what is flying abroad uh, on board today? So to tell you briefly, to tell our viewers briefly. Pranam mission is a technology demonstrator Locker flight which will help test space grade hardware and systems and validate technologies that will be used in the subsequent launches coming up next year for sky route the company is working on three orbital class rockets in the vikram series again named after the founder of space program dr saravai vikram has carries with it three customer payloads which are non deployable pcb based payloads equipped with sensors and instrumentation to validate the flight worthiness and the payload integration process now we have this uh, a very interesting thing which is flying with the vehicle is something called hello space cards what we have done is it is something special and we have made cards called hello space cards and they are flying on board carrying wishes good wishes of 300 people who have contributed to this mission from sky route isro and in space so we have put these cards on the vehicle and this vehicle is going to carry these cards in around 6 minutes and 43 seconds from now you can see the launch pad has been cleared of uh, men and yes please stand by for a interview by chairman in space dr pawan goenka we will we will shortly show you an interview with dr pawan goenka chairman in space uh, health is observed to be nominal proceeding to today is a historic milestone day in india's private sector's journey into the space sector this has been possible because of the space reforms announced by the government of india in june 2020 and the skyroot aerospace team in a very short period of 2 years have come to this point where they could launch the suborbital vehicle uh, vks the isro team the in space team have played a big role in enabling uh, the launch today and i'm looking forward to a successful launch and a start of a new era uh, in india's uh, space sector back to the live feed yeah. where the there where the rocket is view is available to you uh, the honorable minister of state dr jitendra singh uh, flanked by chairman isro uh, and department of space secretary sri s somnath and also by sri pawan goenka chairman of in space this uh, dignitaries have uh, graced this occasion and it shows the importance it shows the import it shows the importance of the launch 
and the importance the which the government of india is according to this launch four minutes 52 seconds to the launch and we are honored and we are inspired to see the top to, leadership uh, of this country in the space sector sharvan to block house uh, the data reception is nominal the signal strength upgrade is also good in the space sector uh, roger supporting this launch and as we all know stations? this today Vikram definitely is a historic day where after opening the space sector the with the government support with the support of agencies like in space the the facilitator and with the support of isro with the facilities which isro has created over the years we are all set for to create another history today where india takes a giant leap towards private sector participation in the space industry minus 4 minutes 3 uh, minutes uh, 58 seconds to the launch and all clear whether you can see uh, is very fine here as my colleague has already told unhone bataya hai ki mausam bahut hi badhiya mausam bahut hi anukul hawaye bahut hi dheemi gati se 7 ya 8 km prati ghanta ki raftar meters 7 ya 8 meter prati second ki raftar se hawaye beh rahi hain aur hamare rocket jo hai ye design kiya hua hai kareeb kareeb 25 मीटर्स पर सेकेंड वेग तक इस रॉकेट को हम लॉन्च कर सकते हैं इस बढ़िया मौसम के हम इंतजार कर रहे थे और हम में आज ये अवसर मिला है और हम इस लॉन्च के काफी करीब हैं अब सिर्फ तीन सेकेंड बच गए हैं एज वी वेट फॉर द हिस्ट्री इन द मेकिंग द लॉन्च ऑफ अ फर्स्ट प्राइवेटली ओन कंपनी फ्रॉम द इंडियन सॉइल Minus three. These are the views from the Mission Control Center VVIP Gallery, with the top batch of his row, along with Chairman in Space and the Honorable Minister, uh, eagerly waiting for the launch. We are about two minutes forty seconds from the launch. The efforts of four year, more than four years, are coming towards the first rotation. which will Blockers give a stepping stone event number 60 and 60 to all of us and uh, on on your view the final views of the rocket as it take off prepares to take off all the preparations are in place all parameters behaving normally and uh, the launch being intently monitored ah uh, yeah we will uh, madhuri why don't you tell us about a very important procedure called wind weighing for this uh, stable rockets yes sir as we wait for the launch let me just uh, throw My some light on it uh, today morning wind was measured using the wind profiler at sdsc uh, this data was then fed to the mission simulation software uh, and the corrections required in the launch elevation angle and the launch azimuth angle to compensate for the performance deviations of vikram s due to this wind are calculated as you know these adjustments are possible with the launcher the azimuth and the launch elevation angle have been set accordingly the launch azimuth is at 80 degrees and uh, 100 degrees the lea and launch azimuth as i said and this is what is required for this mission this is a standard procedure for all the suborbital rocket launches from sdsc उड़ान से बस एक मिनट दस सेकंड दूर हम लोग और जैसे मेरी सहयोगी माधुरी जी ने बताया आपको कि हम लोगों ने आज सुबह ये हवा की रफ्तार गति नापी है और इस मापन को हमने अपने मिशन सिमुलेशन प्रोग्राम में डाला है और कौन सी एंगल से किस धरती से कितना एंगल बनाते हुए ये रॉकेट उड़े ताकि हम जो चाहते हैं जो कक्षा हम चाहते हैं जो ऊंचाई हम चाहते हैं वो हमें मिले ये माधुरी जी ने बताया आपको रॉकेट का व्यू लॉन्च से सिर्फ 30 सेकंड दूर हम अब ज्यादा बोलने वाले नहीं है कुछ देर तक हम आपके साथ मिलकर के इस रॉकेट की व्यूज को एंजॉय करेंगे लास्ट फ्यू मिनट्स लास्ट फ्यू सेकेंड्स ट्वेंटी सेकेंड्स वी मोमेंट्रली गो क्वाइट एंड वी फील द लॉन्च अलॉन्ग विथ यू वी एंजॉय द लॉन्च अलॉन्ग विथ यू just 10 seconds to launch 10 9 8 7 6 5 4 3 2 1 
फोर थ्री टू वन जीरो एंड वी हैव अ सक्सेसफुल ऑफ विक्रम एस रॉकेट आई थिंक आई शुड बी एबल टू शो यू दूबिलियंट एनवायरमेंट हिस्सा कंट्रोल सेंटर वेदर एंटायर टीम इज सेलिब्रेटिंग the launch and the spin stabilized rocket the views from the launcher camera in a few seconds uh, the vehicle will undergo the condition of maximum aerodynamic pressure followed by the motor burnout and we will get you those confirmations shortly the vehicle will experience q max around 15 seconds and the same time maximum aerodynamic loads will occur just to remind the viewers this is an aerodynamically stabilized vehicle at 20 seconds flight time we have reached mark 5 which means it is flying at five times the velocity of sound and with this the vehicle has achieved hypersonic velocities It looks like we do have successful burnout, and the flight trajectory is tracking as per the prediction. Rocket is now at the altitude of 66 kilometers, 67 now. We have completed 80 seconds of flight time. We are around 34 seconds away from the launch pad, and the totally intended trajectory is being followed. The present altitude is 75 kilometers. As we slowly go. towards our target of crossing 80 kilometers and way beyond that uh, nominally we expect to be around 100 kilometers uh, uh, when the peak altitude occurs see the screen views from the mission control center 86 kilometers in altitude we are at 85 kilometers now and uh, slowly and steadily we are reaching our peak altitude uh, if you can see it on the screens the altitude profile is being shown around 133 seconds have passed we are very close to the our peak altitude we are now at around 88 kilometers peak altitude and uh, everything has gone as per we have planned we are very close to the peak altitude now the peak altitude performance has been reached at around 155 seconds and now slowly the rocket will start its descent actually it has just started from 88 kilometers now it has come to around 87.1 kilometer the peak altitude being met this mission today has given a good such a successful satisfactory performance as intended by us जी हाँ एक सफल उड़ान प्रथम उड़ान विक्रम एस के लिए प्रारंभ बड़ा ही रोचक रहा यह रॉकेट अपने गंतव्य तक भी पहुंचा और अब अपनी ऑल्टीट्यूड को घटाने की कोशिश में मात्र 70 किलोमीटर की ऑल्टीट्यूड पर अब यह रॉकेट स्थित है this rocket achieved the apogee of 89.5 kilometers that is the peak altitude achieved by this rocket was 89.5 our target was to cross 80 kilometers as you all know 80 kilometers is commonly defined as the start of space so this rocket successfully went into space as we intended and now after completing its mission of achieving the peak orbit creating the conditions for the payloads to function and uh, completing its job successfully it is or it is on its way back to a safe splash down in the bay of bengal as we have intended the range right now is 115 kilometers away from shar and we expect it to impact somewhere around 130 kilometers away from shar the whole thing has gone as per planned ये बहुत ही खुशी की बात है कि स्काई रूट की तरफ से उनके पहले अभियान में ही जो उन्होंने प्लान किया था जो हमने प्लान किया था वो हम सक्सेसफुल रहे और अब ये रॉकेट अपने स्प्लैश डाउन के बहुत ही नजदीक है और हम किसी भी क्षण अब स्प्लैश डाउन के करेंगे और ये मिशन सक्सेसफुली 
अकम्प्लिश हो जाएगा हम यहाँ पर बधाई देना चाहेंगे इन स्पेस को जिन्होंने इस पूरे मिशन को रेगुलेट किया गाइड किया हम बधाई देना चाहेंगे सतीश धवन स्पेस सेंटर श्रीहरिकोटा को जिन्होंने जिन्होंने ये हमें फैसिलिटेट किया इसरो को इसरो चेयरमैन को वी थैंक ऑल दिस पीपल वी आर हम्बल्ड बाय द सपोर्ट विच वी गॉट हैप्पी व्यूज फ्रॉम द मिशन कंट्रोल एंड या एंड नाउ वी टेक लीव फ्रॉम यू गुड बाय फ्रॉम अवर साइड हैंडिंग ओवर टू श्री पवन गोयंका चेयरमैन इन स्पेस फॉर हिस्स स्पीच Thank you viewers goodbye Thank you viewers for joining us we sign off Safety officer confirm uh, clear launch Please stand by we are going for inspection will assess and clear rather is normal Good morning. I'm happy to announce the successful completion of Mission Pram, the beginning of Skyroot Aerospace. The rocket VKS took off at LEA of 80 degrees and azimuth of 100 degrees, achieved an altitude of 89.5 kilometers. and a range of 121.2 kilometers exactly what was planned by skyroot aerospace all systems as i can make out worked as planned and skyroot aerospace has demonstrated capability of various sub systems that will go into the orbital launch vehicle i congratulate skyroot aerospace their team members and thank various centers of isro specifically SDSC Strac and VSSC team members of in space led by director PMA Dr Jain and director technical Mr Rajiv Jyoti and many thanks to multiple reviews conducted by experts from ISRO in space and from outside uh, for the mission readiness and launch uh, uh, clearance led by Dr B Suresh this is a new beginning for indian private sector entry into space and it is a historic moment for all of us we have the pleasure of having honorable minister of state dr jitender singh here with us to give us encouragement and i request him to give his thoughts on what this today's mission means for our country dr singh congratulations india it is indeed a new beginning a new dawn and i shall i say very appropriately as our team members have put it a new prarambh in the journey of india's space program and very many thanks to honorable prime minister modi ji who has made this effort possible by opening up the space sector to public private participation it's also a, a major step forward to india developing its own space ecosystem and emerging as a front line nation in the community of world nations and of course a turning point in india's startup movement well done team skyroot the count the co-founders can join me here pavan iit khadakpur alumni bharat iit madras alumni who have worked day and night to make this possible
and of course kudos isro you have this day on the 18th of november 2022 added yet one more feather into your much decorated hat and thanks thanks isro for putting india as a frontline nation in the years to come and a nation to which others would look forward to vital cues in the journey of space sector thanks once again congratulations congratulations everybody well done and i request uh, pavan chandana mission director for prarambha mission and also co-founder of skyroot uh, to talk about what it took to reach up to this point and bharat is the co-founder of uh, of skyroot he is also here honorable Un union minister of state dr jitendra singh ji secretary department of space dr somnath ji chairman in space dr pawan goenka ji director shar director vssc respected guests our colleagues and everyone watching this online we are very excited to announce that we scripted history today by successfully launching india's first privately developed rocket vikram yes the vehicle reached space to an altitude of 89.5 kilometers and completed the required mission objectives this prarambha mission as the name signifies is the beginning of a new era in the indian space ecosystem team skyro dedicates this successful mission to dr vikram sarabhai who boldly started the indian space program in the 1960s and honorable prime minister shri narendra modi ji who unlocked the space sector to the private players and most importantly we thank in space and isro all their teams and their dynamic leadership who enable this mission in this most efficient way with the able help of isro this challenging mission was executed by a startup skyroot and our very new space regulator in space within just 2 years from the government announcing space reforms ladies and gentlemen this param mission symbolizes not only india's first private rocket launch it also symbolizes the potential of new india we thank each and every team member of skyroot for making this historic moment a reality and their family members for supporting them throughout this challenging journey and importantly we thank all our shareholders who have been our backbone in this endeavor this is a small step by a startup and a giant leap for the indian space industry it's just the prarambha of a great future thank you may i now request rajiv jyoti technical director in space to talk about the role played by isro and in space in facilitating this launch very good morning to all of you at the outset let me also congratulate the skyroot team for scripting and making a new beginning in the indian space sector with the maiden launch of this rocket prarambh respected honorable minister of state dr jitendra singh ji and our honorable uh, uh, secretary department of space and our uh, chairman in space our uh, member finance team skyroot especially pawan and bhagat bharat team led isro which is led by director vssc director shar and director israk today's success is the culmination of efforts which is being made by various isro centers who pro proactively contributed in the launch mission of this rocket designed and built by a private company skyroot the whole launch support was given by by provided with they were provided in various forms 
like today's shar was has given is sdsc srf the sounding rocket complex launch pad for its operation for the private launch pad private launch rocket sounding rocket integration and check out facilities tracking radar support the ranging and tracking operations ground and range safeties entity testing and many mission hardwares which were supplied to the uh, sky route team and istrek also provided a support for compatibility test at the development at the development phase and ground station support during the launch in the receiving telemetry which you are seeing on your screens for all this support department of space and in space have facilitated sky route by signing multiple tri party joint project implementation plan with multiple isro centers praram being maiden flight safety was the paramount importance so no stone was left unturned various expert committees were constituted to review the requirements of launch system mission and operation i compliment the sky route team for providing compliance to all those recommendations which were given during the various element phase the mission review and the launch review committee chaired by veteran rocket expert dr b n suresh and the member from isro and in space and ex officio experts from isro they all critically reviewed each and every mission readiness requirements launch vehicle systems integration preparations quality experts as well as the most important the safety guidelines finally after obtaining all the compliances of all the actions shar range safety clearance was obtained committee was got a confidence and gave approval for the final launch and really i thanks to god, rain god also that we are lucky that today we got a favorable launch window during this cyclonic month i'm sure that flight data of this mission will be received which are received at the various ground station is going to be very useful for sky route for their future mission we will be giving not only for this performance of vehicle but also give confidence for their next orbital mission so this being a technology demonstration flight it will help to validate their systems which has gone as a payload into this launch vehicle on the behalf of in space team i once again congratulate the team sky route and looking forward to work for your upcoming orbital missions isro is with you Th thanks to the department of space chairman isro and secretary dos mrr and launch vehicle committee for giving guidance during this long landmark journey of great achievement jai hind नमस्कार हार्दिक स्वागत है आप सभी दर्शकों का इसरो के एक और महत्वपूर्ण मिशन में जिसका नाम है एल वी एम थ्री एम टू वन वेब इंडिया वन मिशन 
मैं विकास स्वर्णकार सतीश धवन अंतरिक्ष केंद्र शाह श्रीहरिकोटा के मिशन नियंत्रण कक्ष से आप सभी दर्शकों का हार्दिक स्वागत अभिनंदन करता हूं। आज मध्य रात्रि के पश्चात 23 अक्टूबर 2022 को बारह बजकर सात मिनट पर इसरो के भीमकाय रॉकेट एल वी एम थ्री का प्रमोचन शार के द्वितीय प्रमोचन मन से किया जा रहा है इस प्रमोचन का मुख्य मिशन होगा वन वेब द्वारा निर्मित 36 उपग्रहों को 601 किलोमीटर की वृत्ताकार निम्न भू कक्षा में स्थापित करना भारत सरकार के अंतरिक्ष विभाग के अधीन भारतीय अंतरिक्ष अनुसंधान संगठन इसरो की वाणिज्यिक शाखा न्यू स्पेस इंडिया लिमिटेड एन के माध्यम से यह मांग आधारित पहला एल वी का समर्पित वाणिज्यिक मिशन है यह एक ऐतिहासिक उपलब्धि है क्योंकि इस प्रमोचन के साथ जीएसएलवी मार्क थ्री वैश्विक वाणिज्यिक प्रमोचन सेवा बाजार में प्रवेश कर रहा है नमस्ते व्यूअर्स एंड हार्टी वेलकम टू द लाइव टेलीकास्ट ऑफ एल वी एम थ्री एम टू वन वेब इंडिया वन मिशन फ्रॉम द मिशन कंट्रोल सेंटर आई एम माधुरी ब्रिंगिंग टू यू द कॉमेंट्री फॉर द लॉन्च यूर वॉचिंग इट लाइव ऑन डी डी नेशनल Live telecast is also available on ISRO website, YouTube, Facebook, and Twitter. LVM three M two one Web India one mission about to be launched from the second launch pad of Satish Dhawan Space Center, Shar Sri Hari Kota, the only spaceport of India located in the southern state of Andhra Pradesh on the eastern coast. The launch will take place. at the indian standard time of 7 minutes and 40 seconds past midnight on 23rd october 2022 this will be the first commercial launch for the geosynchronous satellite launch vehicle mark 3 abbreviated as lvm3 to carry 36 numbers of satellites belonging to messrs network access associates limited uk or messrs one web through the commercial arm of isro new space india limited the one web satellites are intended to provide leo based broadband services for commercial usage cumulative payload mass of the satellites is 5834.4 kg let me also intimate the viewers that the payload capacity of lvm3 into the low earth orbit is 8000 kg 36 satellites will be placed in 601 kilometers altitude with 87.4 degrees inclination in batches of four satellites simultaneously up next is the brief informative video for the mission go ahead charging up ram hydraulic accumulator commence and health sector not one Rose Heavius launcher LVM3 M2 is now in position at the second launch pad at Satish Dhawan Space Center to carry its first commercial payload of United Kingdom's global communications network OneWeb Today we are going to witness one of the historic events in the space activities of this country the launch of GSLV Mark 3 the LVM3 one web one mission happening from sadish savan space center sri harikota this is the first 
ever commercial launch of the new rocket LVM3. And we are very happy to have our customers, OneWeb, uh, having their 36 satellites ready to be deployed in this mission. Well, it's truly a red letter day today for India, for NCL ISRO, and importantly for OneWeb. As we embark upon the 14th launch of OneWeb, which will inject 36 new satellites into the orbit, this becomes a very special moment for all of us. I am therefore very glad that today we are lifting off one of the most important missions from India on a GSLV Mark III rocket, India's heavy lift rocket, which will take 36 satellites to the low Earth orbit. It will place 36 satellites in a low Earth orbit, increasing the one web fleet to 464. Further launches in 2023 will complete the constellation. The satellites will be arranged in 12 rings, with 49 satellites in each plane. Each satellite will complete a full trip around the Earth every 109 minutes. While the Earth will be rotating underneath satellites, the satellites will always be flying over new locations on the ground. OneWeb's mission is to deliver global connectivity services and with this launch, OneWeb will be one step closer to offering its high-speed, low-latency services to connect governments, businesses and communities around the world. OneWeb has partnered with New Space India Limited, ENSIL, the commercial arm of Indian Space Research Organization for this launch. Today's launch of uh, LVM 3M2 mission is uh, extremely significant milestone for New Space India Limited as it would open up the big global commercial launch service market for this heavy lift launcher. Especially in the context when many operators world over are looking to build LEO satellites as part of constellation for meeting global communication needs. This effort of New Space India Limited would go a long way in enhancing India's market share in the global space economy. LVM3 has established itself as a reliable launch vehicle of ISRO. In the past few days, ISRO has been diligently making the vehicle launch ready for this flight. LVM3 M2 will for the first time launch multiple satellites into low Earth orbit and has the heaviest payload mass till date. With this launch, LVM3 will mark entry into the international commercial service market and reach new heights. Roger. Abhi abhi aapne sanshipt video mein dekha Secretary DOS Chairman Bharti Mitchell Group, Tata CMD NSIL, ne, this mission ke mahatu ke baare mein hume bataya. LVM3 launch vehicle Mark 3 ki kul char udane ho chuki hain, aur ya sabhi udane safal rahi hain. December 2014 ko GSLV Mark 3 care mission se shuruat karte huye. GSLV ने अपने विकासशील मिशन D1, D2 में सफलता प्राप्त की और उच्च भार को अंतरिक्ष तक ले जाने का प्रदर्शन किया। फिर 22 जुलाई 2019 को भारत का गौरवपूर्ण चंद्रयान 2 भी GSLV Mark 3 की सफलता पूर्वक प्रमोशन से किया गया। आज इस कड़ी में एक नया मील का पत्थर साबित होने जा रहा है। इसरो के सभी केंद्रों से वैज्ञानिक अभियंताओं की योगदान से तैयार यह प्रमोचन यान पूर्णतः सज्ज है वन वेब इंडिया वन मिशन को पूरा करने के लिए इस लॉन्च की उल्टी गिनती ठीक 24 घंटे पूर्व प्रारंभ हो चुकी है इस दौरान यान को पावर ऑन कर सभी स्वास्थ्य जांच पूरे किए जा चुके हैं तरल नोदक के भराव की स्थिति प्राप्त कर भराव किया जा चुका है बैटरी का आवेशन 
सभी ट्रैकिंग स्टेशन के संचार जांच मिशन कंप्यूटर वास्तविक समय तंत्र एकॉस्टिक सप्रेशन सिस्टम गायरो पैकेजेस आदि की जांच पूरी की जा चुकी है अब कुछ अंतिम जांचों के पश्चात यान निदेशक ऑटोमेटिक लॉन्च सीक्वेंस शुरू करेंगे The countdown for the LVM3 M2 One Web India One mission is 24 hours long and has begun at midnight on 22nd of October 2022. Typically during the countdown, the liquid propellants are serviced into the stages. The gas bottles for command and pressurization are charged to the requisite pressure. The avionic systems are subjected to checks. Critical ground systems. are subjected to health checks all these activities are currently in progress at the launch complex roger we are about 21 minutes from the launch time minus 21 minutes uh, request all stations change over to channel 2 mission executives are conveying the readiness of their respective systems this is vehicle director based on the vehicle system performance lvm3 m2 one web india one mission launch vehicle is ready for launch satellite director to mission director uh, all satellite and dispenser are ready for launch are ready to mission director range is ready for the launch of lvm3 m2 one web india one mission so the director to uh, mission director track dt station and network is ready for supporting uh, lvm3 m2 one web india one mission this is mission director based on the clearances from vehicle director satellite director range operations director ttc director the lvm3 m2 one web india one mission is authorized all stations are not mission director has given authorization for launch abhi abhi aapne suna strike ke nideshak ugra nideshak yaan nideshak range nideshak टेलीमेट्री ट्रैकिंग एंड कमांड निदेशक इन सभी ने अपने तंत्रों की सूचना मिशन निदेशक को दे दी और इसके बाद इन सभी तंत्रों को संतोषजनक पाने पर मिशन निदेशक ने ऑटोमेटिक लॉन्च सीक्वेंस तथा लॉन्च को आगे जाने की अनुमति दे दी है यू हैव वॉच ऑन योर स्क्रीन द मिशन डायरेक्टर क्लियरिंग द लॉन्च एंड ऑथोराइजिंग द स्टार्ट ऑफ ऑटोमेटिक लॉन्च सीक्वेंस लिटिल वाइल अगो द वेहीकल इज हियर आफ्टर on the onboard computers the final parameter verification of the rocket stages takes place decisions will be taken by the onboard computers in autonomous mode hereafter october in the early morning of 
LVM3 M2 mission from India's spaceport Sriharikota is for launching 36 numbers of OneWeb 101 satellites. With this launch, we are entering into the international commercial launch through ENCEL. This is the first commercial mission for LVM3 through ENCEL and it is our first multi-satellite mission to low Earth orbit. It is also the first launch from India with a 6 ton payload which is the highest ISRO has done so far. The nozzle end segment of S200 is assembled with the nozzle and control system elements and thereafter the middle and head end segments in dedicated assembly towers and shifted on to the mobile launch pedestal for the assembly of igniter and the strap on nose cone that houses control electronics and this is being carried out in the solid stage assembly building called SSAB. S200 motor ko purna paripak utpadan pranali ke saath solid motor production complex shar dwara nirmit kiya jata hai ya ya motor teen segment se bana hota hai aapne dekha sar pratham NES ko rakha gaya fir middle segment uske upar HES segment aur अंत में इग्नाइटर को एकीकृत किया गया अब आप देख रहे हैं एस टू हंड्रेड नोस कोन को एस टू हंड्रेड के ऊपर में एकीकृत किया जा रहा है एस टू हंड्रेड नोस कोन के अंदर वो सभी संबंधित एवियनिक्स तंत्र उपलब्ध होते हैं जो एस टू हंड्रेड के स्वास्थ्य जांच तथा कार्य के लिए आवश्यक होते हैं which is making its debut into the global commercial launch service market. SGSE is responsible for realizing two numbers of S200 solid motor strap-ons for each LVM3. All the major subsystems were converged at SGSC shark, which includes L110 stage, C25 cryo stage, and payload fairings, which are all assembled in a seamless Manner. The entire operation of 36 numbers of one web satellite to dispenser and payload adapter were carried out in a record time without compromising any of the quality, reliability, and safety measures and were done in a qualified playthrough. SDSC Shah provided the requisite mechanical, electrical, and checkout interfaces and verified the same. Integration of the LVM3 M2 vehicle by stacking the stages were carried out in SSAB and VAB facilities and moved to launch pad on 15th October 2022. During the entire launch campaign, there was no anomalies. In the meantime, the range system involving radar, telecommand, MOTR, ground station, communication, vehicle surveillance, CCTV subsystems were verified along with the real-time networks, mission computers, meteorology, range and ground safety systems. We are glad to note all the range systems are ready to provide the support for liftoff. That's the L110 core stage being prepared in a specialized facility horizontally and it will be moved to SSAB for tilting and precise assembly between the two S200 motors. यहाँ आप देख रहे हैं L110 स्टेज पूरी तरह तैयार तथा परीक्षण पूर्ण होकर IPRC महेंद्र गिरी द्वारा शार लाया जाता है और शार में आगे के परीक्षण तथा एकीकरण कार्यक्रम जारी किए जाते हैं आप देख रहे हैं दो नोजल हैं या दो विकास इंजन के नोजल हैं पूर्णतः तैयार L110 स्टेज the forthcoming launch is the fifth mission in the success saga of LVM3. LVM3 is being human rated for the human space flight mission, Vyagenyan. And as part of human rating of LVM3, more confidence building test of all propulsion systems, including L100 and S200 and cryo stages have been conducted successfully. This has added more confidence into the vehicle system performance and also proved the robustness of the vehicle systems. 
the all of mass of one of india satellites with the dispenser is 5.8 ton and there are 36 satellites each weighing about 145 kg the vehicle lift off mass is nearly 643 tons the upcoming mission is a unique one which demands separation of all 36 satellites into 600 km orbit and the separation has to be sequenced in such a way that the customer requirement of minimum 137 meter distance between any pair of satellite is met this is achieved by orienting and reorienting the cryo stage using the onboard thrusters the total mission duration from take off to last satellite separation is more than 5500 second or about 91 minutes in order to be compatible with the customer satellite dispenser interface the payload adapter was modified and the new pla was realized simple launch vehicle is then moved from the low b solid stage assembly building to the high b vehicle assembly building for assembly of upper stages and encapsulated assembly एस टू हंड्रेड और एल वन टेन को समायोजित कर वहीकल असेंबली बिल्डिंग लाया गया प्रोपर्शन कॉम्प्लेक्स रियलाइज एंड डिलीवर्ड एल वन टन एंड सी ट्वेंटी फाइव स्टेजेस फॉर दिस वीक एल वन टन स्टेज इज लिक्विड स्टेज विथ वन हंड्रेड एंड टेन टन ऑफ यू एच ट्वेंटी फाइव एंड एन टू फॉर प्रपर कॉम्बिनेशन पावर्ड बाई ट्विन विकास इंजिन डेलीवरिंग वन हंड्रेड एंड सिक्सटी टन ऑफ ट्रस्ट दिस स्टेज फंक्शन इज मैनेज बाई सिक्सटी नाइन फ्लूड कंट्रोल कॉम्पोनेट एंड मॉड्यूल्स The C25 cryogenic stage is fully indigenously developed with LH2 and LAV propellant loading of 28 tons and is powered by a 19 ton thrust C20 cryogenic engine operating on gas generator cycle. For this mission, C25 stage alone adds a velocity of 14,800 km per hour, which is 54 percent of the total incremental velocity required for this mission. This mission is a very complex mission. After C25 stage shutdown, we have to separate all 36 satellites in various locations. For this purpose, unlike in earlier missions, C25 stage has to operate for 4,500 seconds after the C25 engine shutdown. The mission management and maneuver is done utilizing residual propellant and gases from the propellant tanks. extensive fluid flow and thermal studies are carried out to understand the fluid behavior and propellant evaporation under micro g conditions to accomplish this mission elaborate mission simulation studies are carried out and necessary improvements have been done in the vehicle and mission management systems uh, that's the c25 moving to vab for assembly अब क्रायो चरण को पूर्ण परीक्षण कर वी लाया जाता है यह तीसरा चरण है एल थ्री का इसे वी लाकर एल वन टेन स्टेज के ऊपर में सावधानी पूर्वक समायोजित कर दिया जाता है इन द वन वेब इंडिया मिशन द एल वी एम थ्री लॉन्च व्हीकल इज एक्विप्ड विद अटोनोमस इनर्शियल नेविगेशन सिस्टम दिस सिस्टम is designed with isro ring laser gyroscope and uh, ceramic servo accelerometers the unique feature of uh, uh, this uh, mission is the long duration in order to accomplish separation of uh, 36 satellites in this mission the almost one and a half hours it takes from the uh, launch to the achieving the final goal and as well as passivation of the upper stage another very uh, unique feature is the precision injection of each satellite such such that they don't collide during separation not only to collide during separation but also maintain the separation in the long term also this calls for certain maneuvers as well as pointing of the uh, launch vehicle as well as add certain incremental velocity between Uh, satellite separation so this need to be done in a very precise manner and for this uh, the laser gyros are equipped or they have the capability to measure arc seconds that is 1 by 3600 of a degree as well as uh, micro g that is 1 millionth of a 
acceleration due to gravity. Also, we have NAVIC based GNSS aided uh, navigation system so that the preliminary orbit determination can be carried out and the POD can be made available to the customer. Here's the equipment B. Prepared satellites assembled to the satellite dispenser and encapsulated assembly with payload fairing in the SPF2. Equipment B may जिसमें यान से संबंधित सभी एवियोनिक्स पैकेज होते हैं उसे समायोजित कर दिया गया उसके पश्चात अंतिम में सभी उपग्रहों को समायोजित कर उष्मा कवच के अंदर सुरक्षित कर वीएबी लाया जाता है यान अपने पूर्ण स्वरूप में वीएबी से यूटी की यात्रा करता हुआ यह व्हीकल असेंबली बिल्डिंग से उम्बिलिकल टावर तक 900 मीटर की दूरी तय करता है अधिकतम वेग 10 मीटर प्रति मिनट के साथ नेटवर्क located at Sriharikota, Bangalore, Thiruvananthapuram, Antarctica, Svalbard and Shipbone Terminal SBT is strategically positioned in the Indian Ocean nearly 4,500 km from Chennai. That will be providing the much needed telemetry and tracking support for the launch vehicle as well as the determination of precise injection parameters for all the 36 one web satellites istrac has successfully operationalized a 4.6 meter robust transportable terminal with the advanced features which can be operated at any suitable location either on land or on sea which even in rough and inclement weather can support the mission yan puri tarah taiyar aur sajja hai apna mission pura karne ke liye अब हम उड़ान से चार मिनट उनचास सेकंड की दूरी पर ऑटोमेटिक लॉन्च सीक्वेंस जारी है इस दौरान सभी जांच कंप्यूटर द्वारा किए जा रहे हैं फाइनल चार्जिंग ऑफ द लॉन्च ऑफ एल वी एम थ्री एम टू वन वेब इंडिया वन मिशन इज द फोर्थ लॉन्च ऑफ इस इन द ईयर 2022 The earlier launches being those of Workhorse PSLV and the maiden launch for SSLV. While Satish Dhawan Space Center is all set to host its 83rd launch vehicle mission and the second launch pad its 31st mission, this is the fifth time LVM3 is set to lift off. Minus four minutes. एलवीएम थ्री पंचम पीढ़ी का प्रमोचक रॉकेट है यह भीम का रॉकेट पिछले सभी यानों की तुलना में सबसे अधिक विकसित तथा उन्नत अभिकल्पित किया गया है इसकी ऊंचाई तिरालीस दशमलव पांच मीटर तथा व्यास चार मीटर का होता है इसका कुल उत्थापन बार लगभग 640 टन का होता है यह तीन चरणों वाला प्रमोचक रॉकेट जिसकी क्षमता चार टन के नितभार को भूतुल्य काली अंतरण कक्षा में ले जाने की है अथवा आठ टन के नितभार को निम्न भू कक्षा में स्थापित करने की है इस यान के प्रथम चरण में दो 200 टन वाले ठोस नोदक एस टू हंड्रेड स्ट्रेपॉन बूस्टर कोर मिल कोर के में लगे एल वन टेन चरण जो कि तरल नोदक पर आधारित है उसके साथ संलग्न रहते हैं और ऊपर के चरण में 27 टन के क्रायोजेनिक ईंधन पर आधारित C20 इंजन वाला C25 चरण होता है द लॉन्च द मेडिन लॉन्च ऑफ द रॉकेट हैड कैरीड नॉन ऑपरेशनल क्रायो स्टेज एंड एक्सपेरिमेंटल पेलोड क्रू मॉड्यूल एटमोस्फेरिक रीएंट्री एक्सपेरिमेंट और केयर Thereafter, the developmental launches designated as D1 and D2 had carried GSAT class of communication satellites. The first operational launch, M1, 
had Chandrayaan 2 as its payload on 22nd of July 2019. We are about 2 minutes 10 seconds from the launch. Minus 2 minutes. इस मिशन का मुख्य उद्देश्य 36 उपग्रहों को जिनका कुल नितभार 5,834 केजी है, 601 किलोमीटर की वृत्ताकार निम्न भूकक्षा में 87.4 डिग्री के झुकाव के साथ स्थापित करना है। यह सभी पूर्णतः परीक्षित होकर इस यान में सुरक्षित अपनी कक्षा के लिए सफर करते हुए चार चार के समूह में नौ बार में अपनी कक्षा में हजार पांच सौ सेकंड का होगा। Minus one minute. LVM three being a gigantic rocket, the ignition of twin S two hundred boosters generates enormous acoustics at the time of liftoff that have the potential to damage the electronics in launch vehicle. As a part of acoustic suppression system, huge quantities of water is injected onto the launch pedestal to provide denser medium of water droplets to attenuate the liftoff acoustics. Minus 30 seconds. Real time programs activated. Minus 25 seconds. Now, we have a second to the promotion. Minus 20 seconds. Saru Pratham, do S200 drop on booster. Minus 20 seconds. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Zero. Plus five seconds. P3 tracking. P1 tracking. Off normal. Bhavya Uthapan LVM3 One Web India One Mission ka. Normal lift off and an enchantingly beautiful sight of the twin S200 boosters burning saluted against the night sky. मध्य रात्रि को आकाश को रोशन करता हुआ S200 boosters यहाँ हम इसके कंपन महसूस कर रहे हैं Searing the night sky, the LVM3 M2 mission moves forward. 25 meters Down longest 200 boosters, each carrying 205 tons of HTPV based propellant. Plus one minute. Action time 126.6 seconds. They develop a peak thrust of 5,952 kilonewtons in vacuum. Pratham Charanka Nishpadan Puri Tara Samanya. First stage performance normal. This ka prajolan kaal kareeb 130 second ka hooga. S200 ke prajolan kaal samapt hoonne se pahle hi L110 jo ki taral nadak par adhari charan hai. Dutiya charan ka prajolan shuru kar diya jaye ga. Stage now we have a confirmation about the ignition of the core L110 stage. Range operation Nideshak ne abhi ghoshna ki. Taral Nodak L110 separated. Or S200 stage ke boosters prithak kar diye gaye hain. The twin S200 boosters have been separated from the ongoing launch vehicle. S2 L110 core stage currently thrusting. L110 stage performance normal. This is powered by the earth storable propellants 
UH25 as fuel and N2O4 as oxidizer. The twin Vikas engine powered L110 stage has a nominal burn duration of 200 seconds. Load bearing separated. Ushma Kavach ko prithak kar diya gaya hai. Loop guidance initiated. अभियान 127 किलोमीटर की ऊंचाई प्राप्त कर चुका है तथा घने वातावरण से बाहर जा चुका है इसलिए उष्मा कवच को पृथक कर दिया गया है और अब यान क्लोज लूप गाइडेंस के अंतर्गत है रॉकेट इज करेंटली मूविंग फॉरवर्ड इन क्लोज लूप गाइडेंस एल वन टेन करेंटली थ्रस्टिंग एल वन टेन स्टेज में लगभग 110 टन के यू एच तथा एन टू ईंधन के रूप में प्रयोग किए जाते हैं इनकी मदद से यह चरण 1600 किलो न्यूटन का प्रणोद उत्पन्न करता है तथा इसका प्रज्वलन काल 200 सेकंड का होगा एल वन टेन कैरी द रॉकेट टू टू हंड्रेड एंड एटी टू पॉइंट फोर किलोमीटर्स ऑल्टीट्यूड Shard, Trivandrum, and Bangalore ground stations are currently acquiring the trajectory data. The third charan ka nishpadan samanya, prajolan kal ke purno hone tak, ya yaan ko karib 2,000 kilometer ki uchai pradan kar dega, aur 3.3 kilometer prati second ka veg pradan karega. developing a vacuum thrust of 1598 kN this stage empties the entire propellant of 110 tons in 200 seconds that is close to 550 kg in a second plus 5 minutes agla charan cryo charan hai and shut off and separated l110 charan ko prithak kar C25 जो कि तृतीय चरण है उसका प्रज्वलन शुरू हो चुका है और वह सामान्य निष्पादन कर रहा है एज अनाउंस्ड बाय द रेंज ऑपरेशंस डायरेक्टर वी नाउ हैव द कंफर्मेशन ऑफ द सक्सेसफुल इग्निशन ऑफ द C25 क्रायोजेनिक स्टेज करेंटली द ऑल्टीट्यूड इज 333 किलोमीटर्स तृतीय व अंतिम चरण एल बी एम थ्री का क्रायोजेनिक ईंधन पर आधारित चरण है जो कि एल एच टू और लॉक्स को ईंधन की तरह उपयोग में लाता है यह एक जटिल इंजन है सी ट्वेंटी इस चरण को सी ट्वेंटी फाइव चरण कहा जाता है क्योंकि इसमें लगभग पच्चीस टन का क्रायोजेनिक ईंधन होता है इस चरण का प्रज्वलन एल वन टेन चरण के बंद हो जाने के तुरंत बाद कर दिया जाता है इस चरण में लगभग 650 सौ सेकेंड तक प्रचलित कर 200 किलो न्यूटन का प्रणोद उत्पन्न किया जाता है जिससे अंतिम चरण है जो ग्रहों को उनकी अंतक्षेपण की कक्षीय स्थितियां प्रदान करता है द क्रायोजेनिक अपर स्टेज ऑफ एल वी एम थ्री कॉल दी ट्वेंटी टन ऑफ प्रोपलिंट लिक्विड हाइड्रोजन एज फ्यूल एंड लिक्विड ऑक्सीजन एज ऑक्सीडाइजर The advantage of using cryogenic stages is their remarkably high specific impulse. For the C25 stage, it is 4,344.3 newton seconds per kg. The total thrust generated is 180 kilo newtons. During the 640 seconds of its operation, there is overlapping visibility from Shar, Trivandrum, Bangalore tracking stations. यान के सभी स्वास्थ्य जानकारियां हमें भू स्थित ट्रैकिंग स्टेशन की मदद से यहां प्राप्त होती हैं इस मिशन के लिए शार बेंगलोर त्रिवेंद्रम शिवबॉर्न ट्रैकिंग स्टेशन अंटार्कटिका स्वालबर्ड तथा लखनऊ स्थित
ट्रैकिंग स्टेशन हमें सेवाएं उपलब्ध करा रहे हैं इस समय शार बैंगलोर तथा त्रिवेंद्रम स्थित ट्रैकिंग स्टेशन हमें इस यान की पूरी जानकारी उपलब्ध करा रहे हैं तृतीय चरण का निष्पादन पूरी तरह सामान्य अब हम उत्थापन से 480 सेकंड की दूरी पर आ चुके हैं यान की ऊंचाई 500 किलोमीटर सापेक्ष गति 3.7 किलोमीटर प्रति सेकंड View from the VIP gallery, where you can see Your former chairman of the ISRO. More than 19 minutes into the flight, the orbital conditions for the injection of satellites will be achieved. On your screens now. Founder and Chairman of Bharti Enterprises, Shri Sunil Mittal. Plus nine minutes. Now a few words about the One Web Gen One satellites. One Web is a global communications network. forward from space enabling connectivity for governments businesses and communities it is implementing a constellation of low earth orbit satellites india's bharti enterprises serves as a major investor and stakeholder in one web this is one web's 14th launch and the first with isro and nsil one web satellites are arranged in 12 orbital planes with 49 satellites in each plane in circular orbit the constellation will have a total of 648 satellites each satellite of one web gen 1 weighs 150 kg plus 10 minutes c25 triti charan lvm3 ka samanya nishpadan karta hua और यान पूर्वानुमानित पथ को अनुसरण करता हुआ अपने उद्दिष्ट कक्षा की ओर बढ़ रहा है वरिष्ठ वैज्ञानिक चेयरमैन आई एस आर ओ अब करीब 200 सेकंड की दूरी पर हम कक्षा की स्थितियां प्राप्त करते ही उपग्रहों को उनकी उद्दिष्ट कक्षा में स्थापित करेंगे रेयो स्टेज परफॉर्मेंस नॉर्मल द पोल टू पोल कनेक्टिविटी ऑफ दिस सैटेलाइट कॉन्स्टलेशन कंबाइंड विद द ग्राउंड सेगमेंट इंश्योर्स बेटर लुक एंगल्स फॉर द सिग्नल स्ट्रेंथ अनलेस द कन्वेंशनल जियो स्टेशनरी सैटेलाइट वेर द सिग्नल स्ट्रेंथ diminishes at high latitude regions as one web slogan says it all creating universal connections one web in upgrahon ko gen 1 satellites ka naam diya hai one web ek vaishvik sanchar network hai jo ki antariksh mein apni sevaye pradan karega इस संचार तंत्र से संचार नेटवर्क को सरकार व्यापार तथा वृहद समुदाय को संचार सेवाएं उपलब्ध होंगी इसे कार्यान्वित करने के लिए वन वेब के द्वारा एक नक्षत्र मंडल तैयार किया जा रहा है जिसे हम सैटेलाइट कॉन्स्टिलेशन के नाम से जानते हैं भारत के भारतीय उद्यम वन वेब के मुख्य शेयर होल्डर है यह वन वेब का चौदवा लॉन्च है इसके साथ ही इसरो और एनएसआईएल अंतरिक्ष के वैश्विक बाजार में नया अध्याय शुरू करने जा रहे हैं वन वेब को इस नक्षत्र को पूरा करने के लिए कुल 648 उपग्रहों को प्रक्षेपित करना है अब हम उड़ान से 750 सेकंड की दूरी पर आ चुके हैं 
यान की ऊंचाई 612 किलोमीटर तथा सापेक्ष गति 5.4 किलोमीटर प्रति सेकेंड तृतीय चरण सामान्य निष्पादन करता हुआ और उद्दिष्ट कक्षा की ओर अग्रसर As we told you earlier, a set of four satellites will be injected in 605.8 kilometers altitude at 19 minutes 45 seconds into the launch. Cryo stage performance normal. जैसा कि अभी हमने बताया यह चरण 650 सेकंड तक प्रज्वलित होगा इसी अंतिम चरण के प्रज्वलन काल में प्रथम समूह के उपग्रहों को उद्दिष्ट कक्षा में स्थापित किया जाएगा तत्पश्चात क्रमानुसार उचित अभिवृत्ति प्राप्त कर अन्य समूहों को उनके कक्षा में अंतक्षेपित किया जाएगा प्रथम चार उपग्रहों के समूह के उद्दिष्ट कक्षा 602.3 किलोमीटर की ऊंचाई तथा सापेक्ष गति 7.54 किलोमीटर प्रति सेकंड निर्धारित है We are about 900 seconds into the launch. The current altitude is 602.8 kilometers and a relative velocity close to 7 kilometers per second. वर्तमान में शिप शिपबोर्न टर्मिनल के द्वारा हमें इस ट्रैक के डेटा उपलब्ध कराए जा रहे हैं अब कुछ ही क्षणों में उपग्रह की अंतक्षेपण की स्थितियां प्राप्त कर ली जाएंगी रेंज ऑपरेशन निदेशक की अभी घोषणा हुई तृतीय चरण को बंद कर दिया गया है अब यह प्राप्त वेग को जारी रखते हुए मिनट कक्षा की स्थितियां प्राप्त करेगा आफ्टर द फर्स्ट बैच ऑफ सैटेलाइट इंजेक्शन अ सेकेंड सेट ऑफ फोर सैटेलाइट विल बी सेपरेटेड थर्टी सेकेंड लेटर एट ऑलमोस्ट द सेम ऑल्टीट्यूड विथ ऑलमोस्ट सेम रिलेटिव वेलोसिटी The third separation event in the satellite injection is scheduled 800 seconds later that is to say 33 minutes 35 seconds into the flight. Fourth separation occurs 30 seconds later. The third and fourth batch of satellites are injected into 619 kilometers orbit after the cryogenic stage reorients itself appropriately. Until this time the shipborne tracking terminal and antarctica ground stations would have completed their range of tracking and the rocket would have gone to the other side of earth Next five batches will be separated in predetermined timeline like this Fifth batch at 47 minutes 26 seconds into flight Sixth batch at 48 minutes into flight Seventh batch at 61 minute 16 seconds into flight Eighth batch at 61 minutes 46 seconds into flight, and finally the ninth batch at 75 minutes 6 seconds into the flight.
प्रथम समूह के अंतक्षेपण की स्थितियां प्राप्त की जा चुकी हैं और कुछ ही क्षणों में प्रथम चार उपग्रह जिनका नाम है वन के थ्री के फाइव के तथा सेवन के अंतक्षेपित किए जाएंगे क्रायोजेनिक स्टेज इज रीओरिएंटिंग इट सेल्फ फॉर द फर्स्ट बैच ऑफ सैटेलाइट सेपरेशन आप यह एनिमेशन देख पा रहे हैं C25 जो कि तृतीय चरण है LVM3 का उसे बंद कर दिया गया है तथा थ्रस्टर्स की मदद से इसे उचित अभिवृत्ति प्रदान की जा रही है द नेम्स ऑफ द फर्स्ट बैच ऑफ सेटेलाइट आर 1K, 3K, 5K एंड 7K. whose injection we are eagerly awaiting प्रथम समूह को सफलतापूर्वक अंतक्षेपित कर दिया गया है प्रथम चार वन के थ्री के फाइव के तथा सेवन के उपग्रह पृथक हो चुके हैं वी हैव द कंफर्मेशन फ्रॉम द रेंज ऑपरेशन डायरेक्टर दैट द फर्स्ट बैच ऑफ फोर सैटेलाइट नेमली वन के थ्री के फाइव के एंड सेवन के Have been successfully separated. Two A, four A, six A, eight A satellites are separated, and the second batch also have been successfully separated. Their names are two A, four A, six A, and eight A. जी हाँ, द्वितीय समूह two A, four A, six A तथा eight A उपग्रहों को भी सफलतापूर्वक अंतक्षेपित कर दिया गया है. इसके पश्चात C25 तृतीय चरण LBM3 पुनः अभिवृत्ति निश्चित करेगा और अगले 800 सेकंड के पश्चात अगले चार उपग्रहों के समूहों को अंतक्षेपित करेगा Cryo stage reorienting itself again for the separation event of the next batch of satellites. The third batch of satellites will be injected into 619 kilometers orbit. The scheduled time of separation is 33 minutes 37.5 seconds into the flight. तृतीय चरण फिर से अभिवृत्ति नियंत्रित करता हुआ अब हम उड़ान से तेरह सेकंड की दूरी पर आ चुके हैं यान की ऊंचाई 608 किलोमीटर तथा सापेक्ष गति सात दशमलव पांच तीन आठ किलोमीटर प्रति सेकंड है 
as we await the next separation event for the satellites let me intimate the viewers that after the separation of third and fourth batches of satellites the visibility of the launch vehicle is available to the svalbard st tracking station only after another 350 seconds that is 81 minutes into the flight it is then that the confirmation of satellite separation is received at the mission control center the light transmission will be halted while the rocket is out of the tracking range and resume at appropriate time इस मिशन का कार्यकाल करीब 4,500 सेकंड का है इस दौरान हमें शेप ऑन टर्मिनल की मदद से सभी आंकड़े उपलब्ध हो रहे हैं The LVM-31 Web India One mission is about to set several firsts, like it's being the first commercial mission of LVM-3 with NSIL. First time ever, LVM-3 is carrying multiple satellites and injecting them in the low Earth orbit. This is the largest ever an Indian rocket is carrying, that is, the six tons of payload. This gigantic launch vehicle of ISRO, LVM-3, is carrying six tons for this mission, which is the aggregate mass of the 36 OneWeb satellites and the satellite dispenser. Speaking about the association, this is the first time that OneWeb has collaborated with New Space India Limited, Department of Space. आइए इस दौरान आपको वन वेब के बारे में जानकारी देते हैं वन वेब का ऐतिहासिक लॉन्च कार्यक्रम जारी है इस मिशन को वन वेब ने लॉन्च फोर्टीन का नाम दिया है लॉन्च फोर्टीन सतीश धवन अंतरिक्ष केंद्र से भेजा जा रहा है इसमें 36 उपग्रहों के समूह को प्रमोचित कर दुनिया का पहला पृथ्वी की निचली कक्षा का नक्षत्र मंडल तैयार किया जा रहा है और यह नक्षत्र 2023 तक हाई स्पीड लो लेटेंसी की संचार सुविधाएं प्रदान करने में सक्षम हो जाएगा वन वेब ने इस प्रक्षेपण के लिए अंतरिक्ष विभाग की वाणिज्यिक शाखा एन के साथ भागीदारी की इस मिशन में कुल 36 उपग्रहों के समूह के साथ वन वेब के कुल उपग्रहों की संख्या चार हो जाएगी 2023 तक यह नक्षत्र मंडल पूरा करने के उद्देश्य से वन वेब इस मिशन में कार्यरत है वन वेब आम जनता के लिए संचार सुविधाएं प्रदान कर सामर्थ्य गति विश्वसनीयता तथा डिजिटल साक्षरता के आधार पर विभाजित समाज को जोड़ने की एक मुहिम चला रहा है सूचना तक दुनिया की पहुंच को बेहतर बनाने के लिए वन वेब का एक मजबूत सामाजिक उद्देश्य है जैसा कि हमने आपको पहले बताया यह मिशन कुल 4,500 सेकंड का मिशन है लेकिन उत्थापन से 2200 सेकंड तक यह यान और उपग्रह प्रमोचन को हमारे भू स्टेशन ट्रैक कर सकेंगे उसके बाद यान अपनी यात्रा जारी रखेगा लेकिन हमारे ट्रैकिंग क्षेत्र से बाहर चला जाएगा और पुनः संचार स्थापित होने तक हम स्टैंड बाय कंडीशन में रहेंगे जैसे ही स्वालबर्ड स्थित ट्रैकिंग स्टेशन से संचार स्थापित हो जाएगा हम बाकी के 20 उपग्रहों के अंत क्षेपण की पुष्टि कर पाएंगे
प्रथम सोलह उपग्रहों के प्रमोचन के पश्चात यह हमारे ट्रैकिंग क्षेत्र से बाहर होगा इसलिए यह प्रसारण 40 मिनट बाद पुनः जारी किया जाएगा This wait takes me back to the reminiscences of the previous launch of LVM3 carrying the Chandrayaan 2 as its payload. It was India's second mission to the moon. It had comprised a fully indigenous orbiter lander Vikram and rover Pragyan. Enthusiasm was rife among the scientific fraternity and general public alike for the lander. The challenges for that mission were to carry a heavy payload and inject it precisely in an highly elliptical orbit so that the further orbit raising maneuvers for Chandrayaan 2 are economical from propellant budget point of view. Follow on missions to bridge the gap of understanding the lunar ambience are on the anvil for ISRO. There are also several ways for the common public to associate with isro and its programs apart from watching the launch live on its social media portals and through the shin national viewers can visit sdsc shar and its launch view gallery which has a capacity to host 10000 visitors simultaneously for the launch ISRO undertakes several outreach activities as a part of World Space Week which was held between 4th to 10th October. तृतीय चरण सामान्य निष्पादन करता हुआ पुनः अभिवृत्ति प्राप्त कर रहा है अगले चार उपग्रह के समूह के प्रमोचन के लिए अब हम उत्थापन से 30 मिनट 36 सेकंड की दूरी पर आ चुके हैं यान की ऊंचाई है 616 किलोमीटर तथा सापेक्ष गति 7.53 किलोमीटर प्रति सेकेंड अगले चार समूह के उपग्रहों का नाम 1A, 3A, 5A तथा 7A है जिन्हें 619 किलोमीटर की ऊंचाई तथा 7.53 की किलोमीटर प्रति सेकेंड की सापेक्ष गति के साथ अंतक्षेपित किया जाना है तृतीय समूह के अंतक्षेपण के 30 सेकेंड के पश्चात चतुर्थ समूह को भी अंतक्षेपित कर दिया जाएगा We are about two minutes away from the scheduled separation of the third batch of satellites, namely 1A, 3A, 5A, and 7A. 30 seconds later, another batch of four satellites, namely 2B, 4B, 6B, and 8B, are scheduled to be separated. Cryo stage reorienting itself. to prepare for the next separation event yan puri tarah samanya vartaman mein hame ya aankde antarctica sthit भू स्टेशन से प्राप्त हो रहे हैं
करंट ऑल्टीट्यूड 617 किलोमीटर्स द रिलेटिव वेलोसिटी ऑफ 7.53 किलोमीटर्स पर सेकेंड अगले आठ उपग्रहों के अंतक्षेपण के पश्चात कुल 16 उपग्रह इस दौरान अंतक्षेपित कर दिए जाएंगे उसके पश्चात यह यान अपनी यात्रा जारी रखेगा तथा पृथ्वी की दूसरी ओर चला जाएगा उस दौरान वह हमारे ट्रैकिंग क्षेत्र से बाहर होगा अब ये भी घोषणा की कि की गई कि अन्य समूह वन ए थ्री ए फाइव ए तथा सेवन ए सफलतापूर्वक अंतक्षेपित कर दिए गए हैं अगली घटना में टू बी फोर बी सिक्स बी तथा एट बी नामक उपग्रहों को अंतक्षेपित किया जाना है एटलीस्ट टू बी फोर बी सिक्स बी एट बी और सेपरेटेड कंफर्मेशन हैज बीन अचीव About the separation of this is range operation director. Sixteen satellites are separated till now. Mission is continuing. Remaining twenty satellites will separate as per timeline in the non-visibility period. This twenty satellite separation will be confirmed after Swalbard telemetry station activation. All stations involved in operations can continue in position. Others can reassemble at zero, one, twenty hour, twenty hour. Over to mission director. as it is declared 16 satellites out of 36 satellites were successfully separated and the mission is continuing we will as it is informed we will assemble after the the mission activities will continue and we will assemble as declared i will i would i am thanking everybody those who have participated and the those who are witnessing this The operation still continue. Thank you. We will assemble back at one one twenty on twenty third of October twenty twenty two, so that the confirmation of the remaining separation events is achieved by that time. जी हाँ मिशन जारी है अगले बीस उपग्रहों का अंतक्षेपण किया जाना है और इनके अंतक्षेपण की पुष्टि 40 मिनट बाद की जाएगी तब तक हमारे साथ बने रहिए हम पुनः उपस्थित होंगे 40 मिनट बाद and the one by team for this historic mission tonight <clears throat> in fact early morning of 23rd of this month and happy diwali to all of you so we started the celebration already in uh, sadia savan space center uh, with the first operational second operational mission of lvm3 and the very first commercial mission of lvm3 we have accomplished the orbit very accurately now the rocket is in its intended orbit 16 satellites of uh, out of the 
one by one space cards have been already injected. I want to tell you that this is a very slow process of separating the satellites one by one. In fact, it is in sets of four, it will be separated and uh, it will take long time. So uh, at this moment, uh, let me tell you that 16 have been separated very safely as we expected and the remaining 20 satellites will be separating when we are not able to see it from this place. The data will come a little later and uh, the mission operations of observing this separation is continuing and we will be confirming safe separation of the remaining 20 satellites after that process uh, is completed. I, I am very hopeful that the remaining 20 satellites will also get separated as safely as that they did for the first of the 16. Uh, I, this, is, this mission is a historic mission primarily because this is the very second operational mission of LVM-3 that has gone commercial and this is an opportunity that LVM-3 is able to do such a wonderful mission today and this has been possible by the support of our Honorable Prime Minister Narendra Modi ji because he wanted LVM-3 to come into the commercial market with the NSIL in the forefront to operationalize our launch vehicles for exploring the expanding commercial domain that is open in front of us and congratulations to the entire launch vehicle team for take, grabbing that opportunity <clears throat> and making it ready today for this historic mission and I also want to thank the OneWeb team for having confidence in us to host it on LVM3 for their completion of their fleets and we are very hopeful that the next mission of LVM3 will do the same to place the remaining 36 satellites that it has been contracted with NSIL for the next launch of LVM3 M3 mission. Until then, thank you so much and I take this opportunity to invite CMD NSIL and uh, come over here and then speak to the public and also to the mission director Sri Bhaskar to have his uh, final say on the mission. Thank you. Uh, good, good evening to everyone um, present here and all the viewers who are uh, seeing this beautiful uh, and uh, extremely remarkable mission uh, that we have achieved today. First of all, I'd like to compliment the team ISRO for giving us such a commendable mission of LN3 and the precise performance and I would say the most uh, complex mission management for the OneWeb mission. I'm extremely delighted uh, to see the beautiful videos of OneWeb, which we just witnessed now, where we are seeing the satellites getting deployed in space almost at an altitude of around 600 kilometers. I'm proud to say I'm really delighted and honored GSLV has made the most remarkable entry into the commercial launch service market. Extremely thankful for OneWeb for having faith in us, in our launch and our, uh, I would say, the most professional and technical capability of the team is wrong. I think that though today's successful event is significant in many ways uh, to all the three major stakeholders of this particular mission, New Space Inter Limited, <coughs> Indian Space Research Organization and also OneWeb India and uh, the first and foremost thing that comes to our mind is that with this mission we have shown to the entire world how to contract and execute the mission in less than three to four months. I would really say <laughs> and this was made possible only because every one of us had the will to do such a mission in the record possible time which the customer was expecting. I'm extremely thankful. And the kind of synergy NSI, ISRO and OneWeb has demonstrated through this mission is really, I would say, is remarkable and unbelievable. And uh, today's OneWeb mission, I would say, is the beginning of many more business engagement that NSI is going to do with uh, OneWeb for further strengthening our relationship between the two organizations. And uh, with the support of ISRO, 
that NCL always has, I think we can achieve much more better successes and give much better things to the nation here back. So once again, thank you everyone. Thanks Team Isro One Web for the beautiful successful mission and I'm very sure the next 20 satellites we will hear in the next 30 to 40 minutes the kind of performance it's going to deliver to us. Thank you very much. Respected Chairman Isro, Secretary DOS, all the dignitaries of ISRO, OneWeb team, NWEL, customers, center directors, associate directors, deputy directors, mission executives, all the participants, and the honorable VVIP dignitaries of OneWeb and ISRO. A very warm good morning to all of you. I, on, <laughs> I, on behalf of my project team and the entire team ISRO, is very proud to submit this success to team ISRO. This was a demand given to us by Chairman ISRO to execute this mission in a very short time of less than three months. Once the requirement is defined, the entire team is ro rose to the occasion, worked with full vigor and systematically as is the wont of ISRO. The entire schedule was success-based and concurrent processing was followed. There was no room for slip and everything has to be done right at the first time itself. Rigorous activities were complemented with rigorous reviews by both ISRO as well as academia so that no stone was left unturned and there was no slip. Marathon meetings with our OneWeb customers and Yensil and with volumes of data exchange was an immense process and it was helping each other. We were very proud that we could deliver what the customers expected from us. Praise and thanks be to the Lord, we, the team ISRO, has done what was asked by the management to our team. I submit this success, as our chairman told, as Diwali gift to all our team is role. As our chairman told, this is first LVM3 launch of for international commercial satellite mission through Yensil to a low Earth orbit carrying about six ton payload, the highest launch from our great nation. On this happy occasion, I profusely thank the entire team ISRO, including the top executives, project executives, Mr. Narayanan, Mrs. Asha Mary Matthew, the entire project team, all the review teams, all the NTT and the working teams, all the ISRO teams, and all the participating teams. I profusely again thank our Yensil for giving us this opportunity and having a very fruitful, positive, and com contributing discussions and interactions. It was so efficient, never we had any misunderstanding and we had marathon meetings almost every day. And I also bring it to uh, uh, inform and thank the customers, our OneWeb, that we were very happy and very satisfied in interacting with you and sharing all mutual things. 
until the end we never had any difference of opinion and we never had any uh, dissatisfaction this i can honestly say and we have met all the requirements what sakta the customs have asked now last but not the least i am thanking the entire family of all the team isro members those who have soiled and toiled for this mission thank you so thank you once again all of you uh, we are at, uh, ending the transmission at this moment uh, but the mission continues uh, we are waiting for the confirmation of the remaining satellite separation and all mission executives will occupy their position to observe that and thank you once again uh, for the, this wonderful mission both to oneweb as well as nsil for enabling us to do this tonight thank you so much